Hello everyone, my name is Alan and we'll be looking at the latest build of Windows 10 10,122. So let's take a look at it on my laptop. Let's begin with the start menu. It has been redesigned in this latest build. The power button is located on the bottom left area. In the previous build it was at the top right with the expand button. In my opinion this is quite bad because we can have issues with people clicking on power when they intended to click on all apps and they might shut down their computer and have some issues. So that's one of the opinions I have about the start menu. In terms of customization, it's there. So we can resize it and make it bigger or smaller. So to change the settings of the start menu in terms of colors, um, just right click on the desktop, click on personalize. And when you're here, click on colors, the settings, and show color on your taskbar would be off. But to change it, you can set that to on, put this to off, and go ahead and change the color to anything you want. So I'm going to go with red, and my start menu has changed its color. If you're curious in the tablet interface, if you're using a tablet for this, which most users won't be using on the desktop, um, you head on down to new notifications and choose tablet mode. And this will bring up the new interface of tablet mode. Here it is. If you're wondering where do you go to check out settings, this is the hamburger icon. If you click on that, it'll bring up more information. And it's basically like the start menu, except bigger. And if you click on that, it will disappear and you have the old Windows 8 interface. The next changes we'll be looking at is the icons. The icons have changed in this latest build. You can see right here, um, everything has been changed along with this PC. Um, it's quite simple, just simple as it is. And I have nothing much to complain about except just make it more arrow. You know, that's all I'm thinking about. And the next one we'll be looking at is task view. They have updated it. And in order to just add in more desktops, just open up task view either by clicking on the icon or start menu tab. And it will bring it up. And you want to make a new desktop, just click on this plus sign, new desktop. It has a new animation with it. Click on the X to close it. And you will see all your applications open by hovering over each desktop. And you can always reorganize it. So let's put that in a second desktop. Hover the mouse to the second one and you will see it there. And so it basically operates just as it does except with more animations. And we can organize certain things to a new desktop if we're having things cluttered. And when you have task view available and you're switching between desktops, um, I put Camtasia Studio editing program on the other desktop. I click on that brings the animation to the next one and I go back to the next one here. Alright so the new addition to this latest build would be Project Spartan which is the code name and the real name for it is Microsoft Edge. So here is the new web browser. It's faster and it has features similar to Google Chrome. So when it loads up the new tab page you have top sites. I cleared up mine. Usually it would have like geek or something else here. You can't add in sites. It just basically remembers what you um, visit frequently and as you scroll down this is something that Google Chrome doesn't have and this is where you have the news the weather and uh, information about the latest technology or your apps and this is the new web browser the customization is there they have the new in private windows so no one will know wherever you went on the internet um, if you head on to settings this is what will appear. You can choose to start up with new tab page, a web page. Um, you can choose the reading view, large. And I believe to have those settings refresh, I think you have to close the web browser and start it back up. And these are the changes to the new web browser. And now for the last things are the programs. What I really like is music. I think the music app will change Windows Media Player and I really like it. So here is the music app. It runs fast, it's quite convenient, and I really like the look of it. It's a lot smoother, I would say. So let's say I'm going to play Imagine Dragons. I'm going to play I'm So Sorry. And as you can see, if you click on Now Playing while it's playing, it will do what it usually does, let's say in Windows Media Center. And if you make it go in full screen, it will do its animations and it will play the song, like if you're on a tablet. Also what's convenient is that when you adjust the volume, 
you can pause it just from this. And this is something that I would say is something familiar with Ubuntu, except you have to use your adjustment of your audio. What I would think is a great addition also is that if they add it to the task tray over here, or if we hover over music, we have the pause option like we did in Windows Media Player and Windows 7. They don't have that feature yet, so the only way to pause it and play faster is by adjusting your volume, and you have to click on play. Okay, so these are the latest changes in Windows 10 build 10,122. If you want to check it out, go ahead and download it. Search Windows 10 download preview, and you will be able to try out the features as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. This is Alan. God bless.